Hi, just a quick follow-up video on the uh, 203 DPI versus 300 DPI Zebra, well 203 DPI Zebra versus the 300 DPI Hot Label over here. And yes, I know there are two issues at play here. Sorry I didn't mention it in the previous video, I got so many comments on it. Um, yes, of course the 300 DPI is going to produce better resolution than the 203 DPI, but of course 203 DPI there's that little three at the end of it. And when you try and scale, when your software, whatever driver, whatever software you're using to actually uh, render the, you know, scale and render the image, that can cause issues as well. And that's exactly what we were seeing over here with, let's see if I can get it, with these jaggies, okay? Can we, can we see that? There we go. You see how those lines aren't sharp. They're all jaggy, 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 okay? And uh, this is, well, actually, here's the original Zebra, okay? This is the original Zebra label that I printed and showed in the uh, previous video. You can see how those lines are absolutely horrible. They've got little jaggies in there. Clearly, that is a scaling issue, not a resolution issue, okay? So, the, but that was the Zebra uh, printer and the Zebra printer driver with no no dithering, okay? And I'll show you why dithering is important in a second. Now, um, stupid me, I was using the official Zebra drivers and everyone goes, well, don't do that. Use the, uh, use the Seagull Scientific drivers. So, okay, sure enough, I downloaded the Seagull, silly me for not knowing that, right? So I downloaded the Seagull Scientific uh, drivers and this is exactly the result, okay? The, uh, oh, no, hang on, here it is, okay, here is the first printout I got with the uh, Seagull driver on the Zebra printer, and as you can see, it is just as horrible, okay, it's just as horrible, look at the text there, absolutely awful, right, the small uh, text up the top there, absolutely awful, and the barcode, right, it's got the jaggies on there, because it enables dither dithering by default. Now, once I removed the dithering on there, then bingo, okay, our barcode is now nice and sharp. No problem whatsoever, right? But it's still now, right? So we got rid of the uh, dithering, we got rid of the jaggy issue, right? But here is the hot label at 300 dpi. So now we're doing the difference between, show the text up the top, this is 300 dpi no dithering and this is 203 dpi no dithering okay and this is just printed from windows it's just a a sample image that i downloaded okay so it's going to vary depending on which programming you're using to uh render the image and stuff like that so you know like th this is perfectly acceptable okay but let's actually have a look let's go over here shall we and i've got two labels that I printed out. This is the 300 uh, DPI. Oh, hang on. Well, I'll show you. Here you go. This is another. This is 300 DPI. Uh, it's probably best if I show it like that. Okay, so the top one is the 203 DPI Zebra with the new um, software. Okay, so I ju just printed that. Um, that it's the Seagull driver with no divering. And this is the 300 DPI with no dithering. And as you can see, the 300 DPI is sharper on the text there. And so this is a real problem that I have with my DHL labels. And unfortunately, I can't print one for you because then I'd have to reset up all my shipping software to change printers and it's really not that easy. And I don't want to go to this sort of effort, right? <laughs> I'm just, just doing a uh, simple video, right? So the large barcode here is going to scan just fine, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and scan Right, obviously, it'll scan this one no problem whatsoever, right? So it just scans the Zebra and it scans the uh, 300 DPI hot label one no problem. But I'm going to scan the more complex one here. So this is 203 DPI, this is 300 DPI, okay? Let's see if I can get it. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah, got it. Oh, got it. I, I, I can get it, so it is actually recognizing it, but not that quickly. Okay, it was actually pretty good then. Oh, well, I got it. And this one, it's just, right, the 300 DPI, it's just recognizing it quicker and 
well, it's going to make a fool out of me. But, you know, trust me, I've done it quite a few times, and it does recognize it quicker and uh, more you know, quicker and more better on the 300 DPI than it does on the 203 DPI. And somebody in the comments, uh, thank, uh, thank you, they commented that Australia Post, for their labels, officially recommend a 300 DPI printer. They do not recommend a 203 DPI. And that's one of the problems that I was having with my Australia Post labels. I found that they just weren't, even though they were nice sharp edges and everything, um, it just even like the 2D barcodes like this were not, because they were small, you know, they're relatively small. Sorry, I can't show you an example without giving away somebody's address. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, like uh, the, just the small barcode on the Australia Post labels meant that they officially recommend 300 DPI printers. And I was having that exact problem. I had to adjust the Zebra settings, like the, uh, the uh, not the toner, the, um, the density. I am your density. Um, the, the de anyone get that joke? Is it just me? Anyway, uh, back to the future, come on. Um, it, the density of the print, just to make sure that it actually uh, worked in the, on the Australia Post one, but the 300 DPI works at any density level and it's just fine. So, you know, yes, it is a combination of software scaling um, and also the resolution, but the more the better resolution, I highly recommend 300 DPI printers and that's the Australia Post's official recommendation as well to have a 300 DPI printer. And also my DHL labels, once again, I can't readily show you an example, but they've got like really tiny font on them. And the 203 DPI one, um, it, it just doesn't, even with the Seagull driver, it just doesn't render that well. It's just, it's, you know, it's really difficult to actually read. The 300 DPI one with the much smaller font is uh, has much better clarity. So there you go. I hope I cleared that up. So, you know, look, the, the 203 DPI printer, it's okay. If you, you know, I recommend that Seagull driver, it seems to work well. You've got to completely uninstall the Zebra drivers, but it seems to work well. But uh, yeah, the, the 300 DPI resolution makes a big difference in my DHL, both my DHL labels and my Australia Post labels. Um, that's absolutely no question. So even if you fix all your software rendering issues. So there you go. I um, hope I cleared that up. Ha! Get it? Cleared it up. I'm here all week. Catch you next time.